for this tutorial, what I'm going to do is to recreate the BP logo using the Pathfinder tool to create all of these divisions. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw one of these petals that you see here so that I can later duplicate it around in a circle. Uh, really the main reason I chose the BP logo is because it's the perfect example of using the Divide Pathfinder. Uh, but it's also a really strong company that I believe in heavily and actually invested in heavily. Uh, and I really hope that it makes up for my Enron losses that I suffered a few years ago. Uh, okay, so I've got this pedal here. And what I want to do is rotate it around in a circle. But before I do that, I need to establish a center point for it. So I'm going to take my ellipse tool, and draw a circle right in the middle so that it touches the inside tips of the white section in the middle. That should just establish my center point. And then I'll shrink that circle back down just so I have a nice little point to use as my reference. Then I'll go ahead and select this first petal here. Uh, now there's 18 petals around this flower. Uh, and it's actually kind of interesting. I figured out by going on their website that uh, it's actually 18 points to represent their 18 point business plan. So now I'm going to take the rotate tool, make sure you have this pedal selected, and hold down the option key and try to click right in the center of this, just option click. That should bring up the rotate dialog box. So I'm going to put in 20 degrees, that should make 18 points around a 360 degree circle. Just make sure you hit the copy button. Okay, so that'll make a duplicate. And then if you hold down the command key and then hit D, just command D as many times as it takes to go all the way around. All right, so now I've got the basic shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then in my Pathfinder palette, I'm going to hit the first Pathfinder in the bottom row, it's Divide. Clicking on that, we'll split that up into segments. And now I can kind of move it over here. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fill this with just a purple color. Okay, or any color other than the ones that are in here right now, and I'll explain that in a minute. But once it's filled, I'll go ahead and take my direct select tool, click somewhere to deselect, and then just select the outside set of petals by holding down the shift key. And then you can eyedropper that color green. And do the same thing for the inside, or the next row of petals. And eyedropper that green. And then I'll do this next set. And eyedropper those with the yellow. But now what's left here, what happens when you do the, the rotate, is you end up with kind of a big mess here, right in the middle. And you don't want to make a mess out of BP's logo. They wouldn't make a mess out of anything of yours. So what we want to do is clean that up as best we can. So in order to, to fill in this hole here, I'm going to select just one of these purple petals. And then this is why I made it purple. So that I could easily go into Select, Same, Fill Color. And it will select everything that's purple. Okay, but now I need to actually somehow clean up this mess. Uh, I can try covering it up with the star tool. Uh, okay, that's, that's not going to work. Um, all right, let me try maybe the polygon tool. Might uh, sorry, that's not going to work either. Uh, 
I need a different plan here. Uh, okay, I'm going to use the circle to try to clean up this mess. Sorry, the other ones didn't work. This one should work. Okay, so I've got a circle. Perfect. That's just enough to, to cover up that hole. So now I actually want to select all of this stuff again. So I'll use that select, same, fill color. And I will select all the pieces, including that circle I just made. And now I can use the Pathfinder. And I will use the Add to Shape area. Uh, when you click on that, if it doesn't clean up this mess, then you just have to hit the Expand. And that will truly get rid of all that stuff that's inside there. And then all I have to do is fill it in with white. And you end up with something that looks like that. 